So the one thing that most dog trainers aren't going to tell you is that the sad reality is so many of our dogs are living lives more like captive animal populations than they are beloved companions, members of the family, period. Everybody likes to say that their dog's a member of the family, that they're their best friend, but think about what an animal needs to thrive. So I've got this sweet little pup out here and we're exploring some new spaces because this little doggy doesn't get out that much. Everybody can do the neighborhood walk. Everybody can manage, you know, maybe one or two walks around the neighborhood a week, but that's not enough. You know, when we think about what these animals experience on a daily basis, how much time they're in the home, how much they're confined, they go from our homes to our cars to a six foot leash. Even out here, I'm giving her a 15 foot leash um, just so she can explore a bit more, make her own choices, have some more autonomy, up her quality of life. So my challenge to you is to write down your dog's schedule, okay? You're gonna itemize from the minute they wake up and start their day to the minute they go to bed and then ask yourself was that an awesome day and if it wasn't i want you to pick one day a week one day just to give them something amazing so this can be a special meal this can be a special event go somewhere new make a play date and don't outsource don't just do a subscription box with a toy or take them to a dog park or dog daycare that's not awesome they need you they need to connect they need to explore they need to be wild Woohoo, Frankie! have some fun with it get outside the box let go of guilt this isn't for judgment this is to bring awareness think about how we interact with our animals speaking of which i'm gonna go have some fun with this dog and get off my darn phone that's pro tip number one put your phone away says the guy recording